YouTube family. Welcome back to another video. Today, you are gonna learn five easy tips to transform your living room. These are really easy, I mean. These are five really easy tips. Like, these are things you can add or you can just switch up and it will completely change the energy and vibe in your living room. living room adds texture color and also really grounds the furniture just make sure you get one that's large enough for the room don't want to get something too small you want it to ground the furniture not look like it's just kind of floating in space so I went with this one for my client um, it's like a threaded type of texture and the colors are muted the creams and the blues and greens are still going with everything and I think it's beautiful. If anyone's interested, it is from rugsusa.com. Tip number two, the area above the couch is the major focal point. So make sure you get that nailed down right. There are various options. You could do a shelf, you could do a mirror, you could do frames, prints. This wall is rather long and it's a pretty wide couch. So I went with frames two prints that really, sorry, not frames, I went with two canvas prints that really fill up the space. And um, you wanna make sure when you are putting things above the couch, it's about 10 inches above the couch. You don't want it floating up there. You don't want it too close. So the rule of thumb is about eight to 10 inches from the couch. And I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> Number three, an easy and affordable way to transform your living room is to add plants, all shapes, sizes, and colors. I have this really tall tree in here, and then I have two droopy plants, and just a simple plant on the coffee table. So, and the nice thing is, you don't have to buy all of this at one time. You can add slowly as your paycheck comes rolling in. So, um, and then I did add a yellow plant here as well just to balance out the yellow throw pillow. And the fourth tip is throw pillows. This can really add color and texture once again, and it can completely change the room. And it's nice, because you can easily swap it out. So she already had these two right here, and then I decided to get the mustard yellow to really make everything pop. And um, just imagine, like if this was purple, it would completely change this room so you can play with you can add in colors and textures through pillows very easily and it's so easy you just put it and take it out and another example is I'm going to show you guys a clip of her couch upstairs which is a brown leather couch and you can see she had these navy blue and white pillows and then I had to add some other pillows to work with what she already had so get stuff to work with what you already have so you're not buying everything from scratch. And then this pillow also, you're seeing the creams and yellows. This was, this is actually a heart and hand magnolia pillow, but I got this for $2, Echo Will. <laughs> I said I quietly like it's a secret, but it's not a secret. Okay, and then also another cream one with some writing, cause she really loves, um, this type of handwriting. So you you can see that your pillows don't have to be matchy-matchy, but as long as they're working together, which I believe they are, which brings me to tip number five, adding curtains. And so tip number five, adding curtains, it can really change a space. It can make your room look more spacious and bigger and taller, especially when the curtains are hung super high like you've seen me tell you guys in my previous videos and once again it adds texture and color so I'm repeating the same stuff but that's good because when you're repeating and things are repetitive it gets you know ingrained in the mind better so in this specific case 
Um, she's not allowed to paint the walls yet because there's certain rules about when you can paint your walls when you move into a new place. So we went with a really white and airy, light and airy curtain. And it really gives like a soft, airy touch to the living room. And so make sure it is much higher than the window frame, not right on top of it like most people do. And for her room, I went with a sand color rod, which is like a mixture of gold and silver, kind of gives off more of like a sandy silver vibe, um, but it's matte. And the reason I did that was because the curtain holes are that same color and then the fixtures in her um, on her courier, which I'm going to show you, and her door handles and the candle top. That way it's all going off of that same color tone. Also, I do want to show you guys a bonus feature. Um, one thing that my client absolutely had to have in her room was a courier to display all her world travels and also to really honor her husband, Nilo. Um, he was a really, really amazing guy. And so I just want to show you guys, I want to show off her world travels. And it's really aesthetically pleasing because everything is in one area and grouped together. And it's also very, very sentimental. So just want to throw that out there for you guys that do have a lot of keepsakes and don't really know how to store them or keep them. All right, summary of the five things. Rug, focal point, behind the couch, plants, <laughs> uh, throw pillows, and curtains. watching this video and go transform your living rooms. Thank you for watching guys.